Hey everyone, welcome back to our Custo Query Language tutorial series. In today's video, we will dive deep into one of the most powerful feature of the KQL, the render operator. If you have ever wanted to visualize your data within the Azure Data Explorer or Azure Monitor, the operator is your go-to tool. Let's explore how it works. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. The learning objectives of this video are What is the render operator? Basic syntax of render operator Tables Rendering the data to a pie chart Render a time chart, bar chart, column chart and then scatter charts and their use cases. So first thing first what is render operator? In custo query language, which is also referred as KQL, the render operator is used to create the visualizations like charts, tables, or the maps. That is generated from the results of a query that you run. It is a way to transform your query results into a visual format which makes it easier to analyze the patterns, trends, or the distributions in the data. When you use this render operator, the KQL generates a graphical representation of the data based on the query results. This is especially useful in environments like the Microsoft Sentinel, Data Explorer, Azure Monitor, Log Analytics workspaces, where you can use the KQL queries to query the large data sets and visualize the results in a variety of formats. If we talk about the rendering process, how it works. So you run a KQL query that produces some results and then you apply the render operator. If you look at this screenshot, so here uh, recent Azure activities table has been called. Actually, it was declared as a uh, variable in the first line where Azure activities have been stored of the last 10 days in this example. Then I summarized that and performed the count operation on these uh, activities. So these activities are aggregated by the level property. Then they have been rendered to a pie chart which shows you the aggregated data in form of a pie. So this data is sent to the render operator and uh, then the query results are passed to a visualization renderer we call it which then generates the chart or the graphs whatever you have specified and the result is displayed in a uh, UI that is uh, um, familiar or easier for performing the anal analysis and uh, this can be the UI platform be it the Azure Data Explorer, Log Analytics Workspace or Microsoft Sentinel that you use to create the dashboards or workbooks. It provides the interactive visualizations. So after the data has been rendered, the visualization is interactive. For example, if you uh, if the results change in the data store, so the view will also be updated automatically. So it's not a static chart. You can hover over the parts of the chart to see the detailed information. So it is that interactive. You can zoom in. You can filter the data to explore the different aspects also. Then you can do the customization depending on the visualization type. You have the options to customize how the data is displayed. For example, you want the chart color, axis, or the legends that you want to specify as per your own requirement. Talking about the syntax of this uh, render operator is quite simple. Here is the basic syntax of this render operator you see in a query where you write your query and then you pipe it to the render and then you define the visualization type that you have seen in the previous example as well. What if we do not define the render? The default output is the um, table whereas you can uh, specifically use this table also and the results uh, are actually rendered in a standard table format which is actually useful when you want to simply display the raw data. 
the use cases for this can be like uh, the default visualization option if you want to see the raw query results in a tabular format you can go with this render table rendering a pie chart it is used to visualize the proportions of categories in a pie chart format as you see the different types of azure activity logs like information or uh, uh, error warning critical have been uh, categorized so it defined those uh, uh, proportions of these categories in a pie format this is helpful for understanding the distribution of the different categories that we have seen these as your activities rendering a time chart so this is used for time based data visualizations for an instance plotting the data over time you see in this example here how the data has been plotted over time this is typically used for tracking the metrics or the events over the period of time it plots the count of events like uh, the azure activity events i have rendered here in hourly bins render a bar chart this Categorized data can be generated through the bars. It is typically visualizing the counts or sums of the items in a bar chart format that you see for the Azure activities by level uh, because they have been summarized already. Uh, it is used for visualizing the count of the events, logins or any kind of other data that you have. You want to present it through the bars. Column chart is similar to the bar chart, but the bars are vertically aligned in the columns. And this is used to display the trends over time or across the different categories. Uh, for example, that you see here, the Azure activities, the information activities uh, have, uh, this, this category has more results over here. The number of uh, activities have taken place in the last 10 days. So we can see this data visually and we can analyze it quickly. The scattered chart are used to uh, display the data points as the individual point on the X and Y plane. Here you see uh, the X, Y plane where you see the, some, some of these small dots. As you see for the information, there is a dot at the top highest one that is displayed. So this is useful for visualizing the relationships between two variables. And uh, this is idle for showing the correlation between two numerical values. Uh, it can be the Azure activity, for example, here. So I have uh, uh, rendered the same data to different types of views to show you that what different visualization options we can use to visualize this data in the Azure Monitor, Microsoft Sentinel, Data Explorer, or Log Analytics workspaces. I hope this video was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel for more videos.